UiPath path has got two design experiences one is the classic and the other is the modern design experience as an rpa developer we should know both the experiences how to use what in this playlist we are covering the classic versus the modern design in a step-by-step -step manner where we are focusing more on the modern design in the previous videos of the playlist we have covered already all of these topics in case you are absolutely new to modern design and you want to get started you can refer to the playlist and get started next in the object repository today we are going to see how we can use a functionality called capture all elements in the previous videos of the object repository we have seen what is an object repository why it is important how do you create it how do you record it and even we have seen how do you manually create and share it to the multiple projects right Today we are going to continue the same topic and we are going to see the capture all elements. In case you are not aware of the object repository and the basics, I would request you to watch the previous video then this video will make more sense. I have posted all the links in the description for your reference. And in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the modern design series. Subscribing is free for you, but that helps me to grow my YouTube channel. Having said that, let's get started. Okay, so I am back into my UiPath studio and today I have got our own website, which is the Acme One. Uh, acme test website right which you might be aware of the url is acme test.uipart.com this is the url uh, you guys can also practice along with me so that you guys can also understand what exactly we are going to cover today okay so till this point one more thing which you have noticed is that i have not created an object repository for anything on the web right so today i thought of let's create a small uh, demo on the web and try to understand the new topic which is the capture all elements okay so let's say today I have to automate this website. I am the developer one and uh, we, I have to create an object repository for this one where we have to first click on this button, which is the home. And then we have to subsequently do something on these things, right? So I'll go back to my UiPath studio here. And in my object repository here, you have two options. Now you can use the record button and you can also use the manual creation of the applications okay so i have to automate this uh, this thing so so i'll start with by creating the application i'll call this application as acme okay and i'll just say create created and then i am going to add a screen right so this is our screen so i'll call this as let's say the home screen and i say indicate and point it to the home screen okay and it will record the descriptor for the home screen and i can simply go here and say create the screen okay so this is the manual way of creating it in the last video we have seen that you can edit the descriptor all of that is strictly available for you here right now let's say the first developer has to create the descriptors for all these buttons which you see on the menu one way is to just create it one by one the other way is uipath has provided us an option where you can capture all these elements at once yes you heard that right you can capture all these elements at once okay to do that you simply have to go to the home screen or you can directly do it on the project as well but this feature is only available when you do the recording okay so i'll go to the home screen right click on it and i say capture the elements and then i say here you see a button which says capture all elements click on that and it is now capturing all the elements and it has highlighted all the elements which is able to identify including everything on the top log out new theme all the buttons home button everything right now if you want everything just go ahead and capture it if you don't want and you want only selected things just deselect it 
and select the things which you require so for example in my case i only want the accounts i only want the checks i only want the vendors let's say right the other way is i want to show you that in case you want to select all of this together just see my mouse you can just create a box like this and it will select those items you don't want it just go here and uncheck it right so it's giving you that option to select and unselect right so for my use case let's say out of this i only wanted to capture one two three four elements once i am done i can select all deselect all all of that is there i just go here and i click on this button which says capture right so total it has identified a lot of elements and now whatever you have instructed your path object repository is going to create for you so here it says that mukesh i have got 21 elements out of that you told me to four i have captured the four successfully i say okay and here you can see that the remaining four are available for you just after the one which you had one other option which is available for you is you can click on any of these elements and if you feel like that i need to add more details to let's say the selector fuzzy selector add the wild cards remove the some of the values all those customization you can do it in this target window and this is exactly the same thing which we have discussed in the modern design that how you can customize the descriptors okay so that's why not spending much time here but let's say you have customized it it's everything working fine for you you simply go and click on the top which is this save button save objects to the library and in your UiPath Studio, you would notice that all the elements on the screen are now recorded and available for you here like this account checks invoices all the options whichever we have added are available for you. So what we have done is we have captured all the elements at once right now to use it the concept is exactly the similar you just drag and drop the screens here and whichever you want to use let's say I want to click on the invoices I just drag and click it on the invoices it's a click activity so I'll go here and I use click activity right so now this is as simple as that right so the developer one has done so what is the next course of action for the developer one he'll go here he'll publish the library share it to the developers and they are going to reuse it again right so that is how the capture all element work it is useful when you are creating the repository for the first time it do the hard lifting for you and it gives you this structure and everything right you can directly do the recording at the top as well here in the in this acme i created this screen and then i did that right let's say you don't want to create the screen also you can directly come to object repository click on this button and then you have this capture or elements it will capture the screen also for you okay so that is an assignment for you i want you guys to try this on your own and let me know what was your observation okay so that is it i wanted to cover in this video which was about the capture all elements which is a pretty handy feature let me know what do you like uh, let me know what do you think about this feature i personally like this feature and i would like to know your opinion on this right in case you like this feature just comment down uh, let's say capture all elements so that i understand that yes we both are on the same page okay so with this i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation okay so that is all for this video I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.